Let me mute. Hey, hey, guys. Uh, let me mosey on over to the couch <laughs> so that people can see me. All right. Good evening. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who's on the call this evening. Can I get comfortable? Let me get comfortable. You can get comfortable. It's supposed to be professional though. Oh, okay. <laughs> professional, comfortable. Um, so I thought tonight's call would be a good topic, or the topic for tonight's call would be, uh, my wife just informed me that I guess August is National Builder Month. Um, so I asked her, why is that? <clears throat> and she told me that August is a great month to build in because a lot of people are thinking about the end of the summer. <laughs> Excuse me, my sinuses are still bothering me from work. Um, but a lot of people are thinking about the end of the summer, um, and it represents a change for people in their lives, um, whether they have kids going back to school, um, some people start new jobs or, or new professions, some people return to school if they're pursuing a different uh, path or career. Um, so it really gets you thinking about where do you see yourself uh, within the company and where do you see yourself in life? Um, I know we did a couple of what? Is that light keeping around? You want to fix that real quick? I'm going to keep talking while she fixes that light. Um, <clears throat> but I know a lot of people, we, we went to a couple of, that oh, looks like I'm at a party. Just put it in the bottom one. Yeah, let's do that. That's fine. Yeah, the other one's not making a difference. So, yeah, don't worry about that one. Um, so we, we were doing a couple of networking events and it's interesting to me just because, you know, Young Living has so much to offer to people of different walks of life, uh, depending on what they're doing, trying to do in life. So I thought tonight would be a good night to share some of the experiences that we've had, especially within the past couple of weeks, because I know from time to time people get discouraged um, that they're not seeing the results that they want. Um, and, and the kind of, give you guys a little bit of encouragement. That's the goal of tonight's call. Um, so we did a couple of networking events, which um, probably is not my forte. I don't know if it's yours or not. Dana believes it is mine, but I don't think it is. Um, and one was you know, for people that were a little bit older, professionals who own uh, different businesses, entrepreneurs. Um, and the whole goal of it was to see how we could help each other um with their businesses so one example was there was a woman that i met that owns a cleaning company um and one of the one of our team members who's also part of that networking group um said you got to go talk to this person because she owns a cleaning business she needs to get the thieves cleaner this is that and the other um so i went over and i just started to talk to her she looked familiar but i couldn't place her um but i just started to talk to her just to see to learn a little bit more about her and you know things that she needed i mean obviously she owns a cleaning company and thieves cleaner would benefit her greatly um you know for her company but she may not see that um so for me it was about building the relationship so we got to talking i asked her about her kids um, she's got a son that's about my age that owns his own company um, and she just started to tell me about stuff that she was doing in life about her five-year plan and so come to find out it's like this business that she has started to build is not really even her dream um this is what she wants to do in the meantime to get her to her dream uh or her passion project but her company's not at the position uh right now where she can fund that so even though i t i talked about the thieves cleaner being great for her company very briefly I presented her more with an opportunity to fund that passion project. And that's what appealed to her more. Um, so like, once again, like we were talking about with this being a time where people are thinking about their life decisions and thinking about making changes in their lives. Um, I felt like that was a better opportunity to present Young Living as something like that, as opposed to just show her product. Um, the products are great. And they're gonna work regardless. Like I said, she could have been, she can still benefit from the thieves cleaner, but she was more interested in the project, you know, the, the ability to fund her passion project. Um, the next event that we went to was uh, for a younger crowd. So it was, it was 40 and under. 
and it was a different vibe. Um, I, different. I know I was telling Dana um, that it's different because most of the people that we interacted with at the Young Professionals Networking event did not own anything, but they were rather, they were reps for uh, companies that they work for. And so I got to sit down with uh, one young guy who, uh, he's a marketing major or he's like the, the marketing manager for a nonprofit organization. Um, so I just asked him, I said, so do you love what you do? Do you enjoy, you know, doing that? And he was like, honestly, it's just something I kind of fell into and I'm good at. I said, so if you weren't doing that, what would you be doing, you know, for a living? And he told me he was like, he loves music, um, which was something that we kind of vibed and connected on because music is my passion as well. So I said, where do you see yourself doing in music? And he didn't give me like, uh, like I want to be on the radio or I want to be signed to a record label. Uh, he said he actually wanted to, own, to open his own amphitheater for local acts to come and perform so that they could, you know, perfect their craft and do their craft um, in the city where, where they stayed or wherever he opened it. Um, so then the next question I just asked him, I said, so how do you get yourself there? You know, because um, doing what you're doing on your, your job as a marketing manager, is it going to allow you to pursue that? Do you need to go to school? And he said, I don't know. And he's 20, 26 years old. So he said, I don't know. And so my response to that was just, now I see a need. So his passion is music. But in order to do that, to open his amphitheater, he still, needed, he still needs the funds. So Young Living provides that. So that's how I presented it. I said, well, there's an opportunity for you to be able to fund your passion project while you still work on your job. Um, if I told you more about that, is that something you, that sounds like something you'd like to know more about? And he said, yes, he was very interested and he's coming to our next builders, business builders class. So I give those experiences just pretty much to say <clears throat> that Young Living has something for everybody. And if you haven't found what it is for yourself yet, it's gonna be very difficult to find uh, a need to fill with other individuals. So um, Young Living, their, their motto is wellness, health, uh, yeah. Wellness, wealth, and abundance. Wellness, Wellness, purpose, and abundance. Yeah, I was close. I knew something, Ryan. <laughs> um, and so there are people that are within the company that the, the money does not appeal to them at all. They just love the product. And that's perfectly okay. Uh, if you're one of those people, that's great. Um, become good at that. And, <clears throat> and in sharing, you'll naturally become good within the company. There are people that... Um, See, I said that they don't care about the money. They like the, the products. So there's vice versa. People who are mon money motivated. Um, I know Lindsay Teague Marino, who's a Royal Crown Diamond, um, who teaches classes for Young Living, will tell you all the time that Young Living is not her passion. Like, it just, it funds her passion project, and she's good at it. So she was able to build to, an organization to Royal Crown Diamond just by figuring out that that's what she wanted out of the company. Um, and the last part of it is abundance. So um, when you think of abundance, you have to think what that is for you. Uh, I know for me personally, I, am, uh, I like to be in social settings and I love that Young Living provides an opportunity for me to associate with like-minded individuals, uh, as especially being a, a man within Young Living and there's very few men. Anybody who knows me actually knows that I prefer the company of being around women. Um, and that's just, that's what I enjoy. So I love being part of this company for that reason. That's, that's my abundance. It's not just uh, the money. So <clears throat> I say all that to say, find what it is that you love about Young Living and then support it. Um, these calls are a great example because they give us an opportunity to get on once a week to uh, answer each other's questions, to get feedback, to be a source of encouragement. Um, for what we're we're all trying all in this together. So, um, if you can try to be on the call live, it's great to have that interaction with you guys. The recording is good too for the information, but it's like to have that interaction. Um, we're a team, so you you guys are our team that we we love to communicate with. It's nice to have that interaction with you guys. Um, that represents that abundance for us because we've gotten to know uh, so many of these 
so many of you who are on the call or listen to the call, um, we've gotten to know you personally, and that sticks out to me. So if you can, support the call. Um, classes, when there's classes, um, don't always feel that, um, that you shouldn't go to a class because you've been to that type of class before. So if it's an intro to oils class, which is being done most of the time, um, there's either always something new that you can learn because there's still something new that I learn every time we teach a class. Um, but even though you may feel you don't need it, the class needs you. Um, so it was great. Like today was a good example. We had a class today and two people came to that class unexpectedly. I don't think, we, you know, it was like last minute that they decided to come. Um, and so I know there's some classes that some of our team members attend where nobody else from the outside comes and it's just team members. But either way, the class still needs you because you represent that there's so much more to the company than just Dana and I. Um, so <clears throat> if you can make a class, be there. Um, or like even like Friday, so we had a huge turnout, you know, and, and, it, and it's interesting. I mean, and you'll find that too, as you're hosting classes, you have some classes where it seems like nobody comes or nobody does come. And then you'll have classes when tons of people, and you're like, well, why didn't half these people come to the last one that didn't nobody come to or whatnot? Right. 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 And, and I'll say, you know, being that there are people who have different personalities, you're going to get something different out of the class. Um, me, I know that, I like the fun aspects of having, like classes don't sound fun to me. Um, I teach them because I've learned that that is what's necessary for um, our business to succeed. But if I could host a party every week, um, that would be me hands down. I know my wife is the complete opposite. And it's like, she says class and she's like, oh, I'm there. Um, and you have people out there who are different people who are like that. So um, with you having, you know, more knowledge about the people that you associate with. If they're a party type person, host a, like a little get together, you know, um, play some music and make some and food. I will, or, and I will say it too. So there's like August, there's going to be like a lot of like promotions and things rolling out. So like the leaders have kind of banded together and tried to roll out a lot of stuff for our team. Um, so I know like Tashina right now for the month of August, you know, with the, um, Savvy Minerals coming out. So she's doing spa parties where she has all the skincare. She has all the makeup and stuff. So she's booking now um, those spa parties and she's doing a drawing where um, you can win some free makeup or free uh, skincare. I'm not sure which one. But also Julie and Leah, they're running a huge special too um, to help kind of boost all of our team's uh, PV. So, you know, take ownership of your team and, and make sure you're communicating some of these promotions and some of these things going on. And um, I know I, I was thinking about trying to roll something out, too. Um, for me, I think our focus really in August is rank up. So if you've hit star, let's see how we can organize you to get to, you to senior star. If you haven't hit star, let's get you to star. Um, if you're at senior star, let's get you to executive. Um, and then you know, probably everybody that ranks up, maybe we'll do like a desert diffuser or something like that, that uh, we can compensate for. But that's when you're really going to see the differences because it's like even the, the jump and the gap from like a star to senior star where at senior star now, I'm like paying for my products and it's not coming out of my pocket. Uh, the jump from like senior star to executive where it's like, oh, I'm paying for everything plus I'm having a little little more. So that's where really we're going to see that growth and we're going to see so much more action. So August is just like a huge month. Again, like he was saying, a lot of people, um, they're kind of regretting having to go back to work if maybe they had like a school type job or something. They had the summer off. Um, June, July gets really, really busy with graduations and weddings and things like that. But now August, we're getting back focused to, we got to start the new year. So, so why not start a business? Why not start, um, you know, thinking about our health and wellness, you know, people, kids are going to go back to school and they're going to get sick. So August is the time for them to get their kit. August is the time for them to prepare their immune system. So they don't have to worry about those things. So Really, really, really just at least keep an eye out for uh, promotions and specials going on, um, you know, because if you can get some free stuff just for kind of working a little bit harder, um, it's going to be worth it. And, and so I, I totally agree with that. And to, I guess, 
kind of start to wrap up the call a little bit. Um, ultimately, find what it is that you enjoy in life. Um, when, um, <clears throat> when we went to convention, I think his name was Sean Anchor. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was awesome. Yeah, he was, but he's, he's a public speaker and he speaks on the topic of happiness. Um, and he said something that was interesting to me. He said that most people who are successful are not successful, um, are not happy because they're successful. They're successful because they were happy. Most happy people are successful, essentially, is what he was saying. So find what it is that you enjoy in life and see where Young Living meets that so that it becomes something enjoyable for you and people are going to gravitate towards that and it's going to become a lot easier to share um with other individuals so um like dana said like august is we're really going to be pushing to help individuals who want to pursue um and want to grow within this business um if you don't that is fine too um but we're we're going to primarily be focusing on those who actually um uh, want to grow so if there's anything that we can do to help them, help you guys in the month of August, let us know. Uh, we're more than happy to help. Uh, as September will be probably a different focus. Um, but like I said, uh, if you really want to rank up, we really want to show you how to do it. So just make yourselves available, like avail yourselves to be um, part of the team and to be coachable um, so that you can be successful. That's really cool. Uh, so that's all that I have. If there's any questions, um, for those who are on, we'll take those and I give like a 10 second window 10 seconds. so that people can unmute. But if not, um, we'll end the call there and then we'll see everybody on the call next week and we'll be in touch with everyone, uh, throughout the end of the, the month. Oh, it's one day left in the month. Yeah. So starting in August. Until then, we'll see you guys later. And I hope everybody stay healthy and well. Bye, guys. Bye.